Welcome to the Home Ownership Podcast presented by Movementum Realty, located in Hanover, Massachusetts. This series covers all things real estate and the best practices for buying, selling, and owning property. Now here is your host, Sean Maloney. Welcome to episode 218. What is a red flag warning? I'm your host, Sean Patrick Maloney. Thanks for joining me today. Today, I want to talk to you about what is a red flag warning. I'm doing something I don't normally do. I'm actually going to cite a source today. Normally, I'm sharing a lot of opinion, but I thought on this one, it was very important to get you some factual details. So what I did is I ran over to the National Weather Service and I grabbed their definition of what a red flag warning is. In today's episode, I'm going to open it up just by reading it, and then I'm going to go over some things about having fires and also about what you can do to prevent having fires accidentally during a red flag warning. So red flag warning means warm temperatures, very low humidities, and stronger winds are expected to combine to produce an increased risk of fire danger. They have several points here. Point one, if you're allowed to burn in your area, all burn barrels must be covered with weighted metal cover with holes no larger than three-quarter inch. Point two, do not throw cigarettes or matches out of a moving vehicle. They may ignite dry grass on the side of the road and become a wildfire. Point three, extinguish all outdoor fires properly. Drown fires with plenty of water and stir to make sure everything inside is cold to the touch. Dunk charcoal in water until cold. Do not throw live charcoal on the ground and leave it. Point four, never leave a fire unattended. Sparks or embers can blow into leaves or grass and ignite the fire and spread very quickly. So those are the points, guys. So as you can see, reason for a red flag warning means there's a risk of fire. And in the modern environment, we always want to think more about it because people live closer together than ever and we have to be careful with fire. So let's go over some of the basics of different reasons we could have fire, some of the basics, and then we'll kind of go from there. First off, when smoking, you got to be really careful. Whether cigarettes, joints, cigars, throwing them on the ground, letting them blow around on a windy day like today could end up being a big fire, could even burn your house down. So be very, very careful with that. Then when having a grill, be very careful, especially a charcoal grill. On a windy day like today, a charcoal grill can get going out of control. If it has greasy burgers on there, the fire can really get going. And if you didn't decide to take care and move it away from the home or fences or different things like that, it could actually catch fire to that and quickly be out of control. So be very careful because the things that we're so used to doing on a day like today can get so out of control. Then if you're planning on having a fire, always get a permit. Make sure to talk to your fire department. Usually most towns you have to get a permit and then you have to call it in each day as you're having it. So some towns might say to you on a red flag day, I'm sorry, but you can't burn today, but very important to let them know those folks are out there risking their lives for us. They're not risking their lives for us to do things that we shouldn't be doing. So be very careful and let them know whenever you're going to be having a fire. And when having a fire, just take some of the basic precautions, have it a safe size, always have it under control, make sure to have water present and not just water that can reach the fire, but the whole surrounding area so that if it got out of control, you can put it out Always take caution of proximity to buildings, fences, trees, everything like that. And remember, the heat coming off a fire can really do a lot of damage to surrounding trees and the property that you have. It may not catch it on fire, but melting fences, burning bushes, things like that can really happen and happen quickly. Guys, always, always, always be careful with fire. But under a red flag warning, you really, really want to respect it. Because whether you're a wood stove burner who always burns and you're so used to putting that fire bucket outside and not worrying about it, not thinking, oh my God, what if it tipped over or anything, all the way down to just having a casual cigarette and throwing it on the ground. It'd be a tragedy to burn your house down or a tragedy to burn your neighbor's house down. Worse yet to have somebody get hurt by a fire because of your irresponsibility. Make sure to do your responsibility and watch out for things. I'm not trying to sound like Smokey the Bear out here, but guys, it's your job to prevent forest fires. Thanks for listening this week. If you haven't already done so, please make sure to pound that subscribe button and tell your friends and family about this great free podcast talking all about buying, selling, and owning homes. Hope you all have a great week, and I look forward to talking next week. 